Hey, what's going on? It's your old buddy Farmer Fletch here, and this is Farming with Fletch. In today's video, I am going to show you how to turn this into this. I started off already removing the uh, tote that was inside here. It had uh, two bars that went through the top of the tote and bolted on here and over there. So I just unbolted those. I think it was half inch or 7 16 to unbolt those. Pull those loose. Pull them out of the tote. Pull the tote up out of there. And then I turned the tote into a doghouse. But I did that last year. So you don't get to see that. Today I'm going to make this into the hay feeder for the goats. So what I do is I take a straight edge and I lay it along. You'll see that one side's shorter than the other. The other side's longer. And what I'll do is I'll make a straight edge line right here and then I'll cut that where these marks are all the way down that way when I get to the point where I can fold it in I'll cut those all the way down straight all the way down here and then I'll cut these off even with this and then I'll take and I'll cut right along here cut that and then I'll cut these off right down here to remove this piece of bar and I'm removing this section right here. But then I fold this in and I fold that other side in. And what I have is a uh, hay feeder. But I'll show you all that as I go through here. Now I'm going to take some baling wire, I'm going to pull them sides in, wire them up on the bottom, and this thing will be good to go. So like I said, I cut all those side pieces, cut all the bottom pieces, I folded it all in. I tied the centers together with wire ties, or wire, um, it was baling wire off the hay that I'm going to throw in here. So I put a couple pieces on the end here, and then I took and put some uh, wire ties, some zip strips on there. Everything here is recycled, so this didn't cost me anything. Even the zip strips were from a different project that I needed long zip strips for temporary use. And then they were cut off, and those were going to be thrown away. So I dug those out of the trash. The container came from uh, a company that was giving those away. Uh, 
the hay was given to me by a neighbor. So yeah, the whole thing didn't cost me anything except for $2.49 plus tax, the cost of that uh, one blade that I cut. And I used part of another blade. So maybe $3 for this whole project. Plus the electricity and time, but it didn't really take me hardly any time at all. Anyway, there it is. And it is goat approved. That right there is how you make a hay feeder out of a water toad. Remember, until the next time I make one of these here videos, you all stay awesome.